Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ibrahim Mukasa gemanya gange tuli ku extra digest mugoba nsonga. Tusinzi de wano uh, mu US eranga tuli Waltham. Uh, with me here uh, is a celebrated fashion designer one Joe Malaika. He's my friend, he's my brother. I'm his fan. I don't know whether he's my fan. He'll <laughs> just have to tell the world whether he's my fan or I'm just a usual person to him. I am your fan. Thank you. Yeah, but for all though, thank you for having me. Thank you. Fashion design extraordinary. You have to add that. Fashion what? Fashion design extraordinary. Yeah, man. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so, we're going to talk to Interview and again, a better new Muruzungu Kubanga Mwami Jo Malaika at a gera new Ruzungu Nanga Uganda Rurida to Sobola Mugea Nanga at a gera new Ruzungu. Um, he's my friend, of course. Uh, I've been following his works. Uh, jo Malaika Motebi. Oh, Jo Motebi Malaika. Correct. What is the right order? Uh, the right order is Joe. Motebi Malaika. Motebi is the middle name. Okay. Yeah. Oli Muganda. Baganda, yes. Where do you come from in Uganda? I come from Kabalagala. That's where my grandmother is. Okay. Yes, sir. So, uh, can you speak Luganda? Gwe. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, at what percentage? Just don't try me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, just don't try me. But I come from Kabalagala. You come from Kabalagala? Yeah. Where did I Mamba. We did a mamba. Yes, sir. Tata <laughs> Wayani. <laughs> You're making this a little bit hard now. Mm. Yeah. What's the name of your dad? Matthew Sagali mm. Mutebi. Okay. How about your mom? My mom is Millie Mutebi. Mutebi. Correct. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. However, Abantu ba akola gana na bo akola gana with different people uh, from different areas of the world. So to sasa watu ni mimi mukona e tulabe iche into achikola tia icha fashion here and there. At the end of the day, oksobro kubanga tulaba ebi into abikola tia abikuwa saganya tia when it comes to fashion. Uh, Joe, um, yes, briefly, uh, who is Joe Malaika? Briefly, if you can. So Joe, so Joe Malika was born in the summer of 2009. Mm. Um, like I said, my background is in, I have a fashion background. Yeah. My grandmother was a seamstress or mm. a tailor. Mm. I learned the sewing from her, so I did exhibit those skills from her. Mm. Moved here at a very young age and, uh, you know, like I, like I mentioned earlier, mm. in 2009, mm. I formed 2009. Uh, while I was in high school, mm. sorry, while I was in college, there's a girl in my class that I really liked, made a dress for her, mm. and now she posted online. Facebook was kind of new, and that's pretty much Joe Malika was born. So I got involved in several, mm. uh, several charities, mm. um, did fashion shows outside the United States, but mainly my shows are done here in the United States, and they're always geared towards cancer. Mm. So as a matter of fact, I'd love to invite you to one of my shows. But to answer your question, that's how Joe Malika was born, and that's okay. who I am. So share with us your journey of fashion. How has it been? So my, we, do we have all day? Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So my we make it make it brief. All right. My fashion journey hasn't been easy. Mm. You know, just like any other job, nothing comes easy. Uh, you know, I've encountered a lot of obstacles, and uh, just especially being a black man here in these United States is really hard. You know, you get, um, I get, you know, like let's let's just let me just give a quick example. Uh, you know, going to hotels and booking space for to, to get a venue, you get profiled a lot. You know, while exchanging emails, people think, you know, maybe it's a white guy, but when you get to the venue, it's a different story. So it's, those are some of the things I've encountered. And also just trying to figure out who I am as a, as a person, as a fashion designer. It's been tough, but uh, I've been fortunate to be named uh, the best fashion designer here in Boston by Boston Magazine. So I don't take that, you know, it, does, it doesn't really come from an arrogant perspective. It comes from the most humble way possible. So I say that time and time again because it's really hard. There are so many designers here, but for me to be named the best here in Boston, it's big for me. That just shows that uh, somebody out there is 
of recognizing my work and for other designers that reach out to me i always tell you please i know it sounds super cliche but just don't give up just stay on the grind nothing comes easy and you're gonna get a break okay uh tulina joma laika uh abalabi bafu abalonji uh muna uganda of course nenga the best in the u.s um zizengo beleda his works nesala umu no nyeko to have a little chat here and there to love it even to have a call at ya chitambla chitia iranga abantu wabawanga lile kampala na abantu wababeda nyoku social media mumu laba nyo on twitter instagram facebook aina great works za kabi nyo 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 aina fashion designs is really so outstanding when it comes to fashion musajja wa kabi nyo ate mvubuka uh, youth of our generation are called into a Akabi nyo nyo nyo. Uh, Joe. Yes, sir. Um, in Kampala, we have a brand, and every year he organizes fashion awards. Correct. Um, what is that special thing you, you, you give back to Ugandans every year? Uh, the special thing I give to Ugandans is my talent. Yep. You know, I've I have a store in Uganda and people can easily access that yeah. and uh, not just that you know being able to reach out to kids who are trying to you know make it happen yeah you, you understand and uh, I've also been trying to work with the airlines I'm working on uniforms for the Uganda Airlines so wow. you know which wow. is you know shout out to um, the CEO for Uganda Airlines Jen yeah. Jennifer Madame mm -hmm. Jen shout out to you so hopefully you know we can find some sort of agreement but uh some of the things are still in works so yeah. i'm certainly giving back but you know i certainly i've been to Ebrian's things two times and yeah. i like what he's doing you know he's great he's he's super super he, he put you got because i see these not just ugandan these other folks that are coming from other countries so it's amazing what he's doing uh when you talk about having the deal of uh, for making uh, uniforms for the Uganda Airlines team, there is a lot of bureaucracy when it comes to getting such deals. What did you go through to achieve such uh, a milestone? So I reached out to, I reached out to Madame Jen, hmm. and I did let her know what I was trying to do for the airline. And I said, is you know the, the airline is relatively, it's is is pretty new, and just me being on 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 going to other countries and being on, on, on several flights, I've seen a lot of uniforms. And I just looking what other people uh, have and what Uganda has, because like you said, I wanted to give something back. So just use my talents and uh, you know, we sat down, show her, showed her, you know, the sample that I had and yeah. she was okay with it. She told me she, she needed to get some changes, worked on some changes and uh, I'll be back in July to make it happen. Thank you. Uh, are you in position to do that? In position to do what? Okubidamuruganda to respond in Uganda. Mm? Don't make it so hard. Let's go. Tuliku extra digest to go song. Ibrahim Kasa is my name. I'm with Joe Motebi Malaika. Yes. From Joe Kansanga, Malaika. Uganda, Africa. Kaba. Kabalagala. Kabalagala. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Never dug. Neo Kopunku to me, neck on your blood. Idris, I see you. Oh, why? Um, why want you to answer this question in Uganda? Because someone out there who is watching us, Correct. I want them to hear something from a, a, a Ugandan man, a Muganda man, responding a question in Uganda. Don't mind about your accent of Luganda. I'll correct you. Is it fine? Jaja <laughs> Ogambach. Do you have your grannies in Kampala? My grandmother is now in Kabalagala. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I lost the other grandma. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Joma Laika. Aba na abato. Aba liyeyo. Aba galokuiga fashion. Boys and girls who have a lot of interest in fashion Ugenda Kubaya Ambotia how are you going to help them the youths out there boys and girls who want to join fashion I want you to answer that question in Luganda okay mix with English 
the kids who are trying to learn fashion in you in uganda mm. i'm telling you right now there's no shortcuts just work and just work and you, you gotta have people that you look up to that's how you're gonna learn let us uh, let's uh, have a uh, uganda version <laughs> go to school <laughs> 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 Never learn. <laughs> Joe, if you speak Luganda, how long will it take you to speak Luganda? For how long? Hmm? I can, I can, uh, I, I can, I can speak pretty well. I, I mean, with my grandmother. So, but this is just for for camera. So let's just keep it like that. Tulina Joe Malaika, fashion designer. Where is your store in Uganda? So I have a store in Cham Towers. Sorry, I didn't mean to drink on camera, but I have a store mm. at the Cham Towers on Kampala Road. Mm. Uh, you can go in there. There's clothes for men and women. Mm. In, uh, in, in, in Massachusetts, there's Bloomingdale's in Chestnut Hill and uh, Carplay in downtown, and sorry, in Boston. Okay. But for, for the folks in Uganda, you can please just go to Cham Towers on Kampala Road and you can meet right inside, you'll find the Joel Malika store. You know, all clothes are made in these United States by me, so you know, we're giving you the greatest product okay. in the market, so, and I I figured people like last price, so you can always do last price when you go to Kampala, but when you're here, folks, there's no last price, so if I take you while I'm selling my clothes, there's absolutely no last price. Okay, when we, when we talk about your store in Kampala, who are those people you strictly target? Uptown, downtown, middle class, um, I, working class? I certainly target everybody, so I, everybody. Don't, I don't discriminate. Yeah. So if okay. you if you out there and you know you feel like you want to get a good product, uh, something that jo, that's Joe Malika style, you can always go to Cham Towers and you know we'll take care of you. Okay. So shout out to Eddie and Claire, they are always in there running the store. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any plans of organizing awards, fashion awards? Uh I'm not into fashion awards, so I'll leave that to Ed Bryan's. But okay. I do I do charity events that benefit. You know, so Joe Malika has always been about giving back. Okay. You know, like here in, in, in Boston, I've just been giving back to, to cancer, to the community that has given me so much. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, 2019, I did stage a fashion show in Uganda, yeah. but unfortunately it didn't happen. Well, I was bringing a Mario into headline. Usually when I do a fashion show, there's always a headliner. Like last year we had Rotimi, the year before we had King Combs, P. Diddy's son. I don't know if you, you know, you're familiar with P. Diddy. Uh, but uh, you know the, the show in 2019 it just didn't happen because certain things uh, didn't go as planned you know on, on Marion's side and uh, the show didn't happen two weeks to the show his his team called me and they said he's not gonna be able to come to Uganda because of you know his mom was really sick that was you know I was not supposed to you know get into the, to, to that business but they told me that my the, the mother was sick there's really nothing I could do and the Marion had to stay in the United States so the end. The show was pushed to, for the following year. The following year, which was 2020, the world was shut down. So nothing really happened. And 2021 was just a continuation of COVID. Yeah. And I somehow like, you know, because I hadn't done a show here. So you gave up on that? I didn't really give up. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Possibly next year. So we should be seeing excessive fashion or the fashion rush hour should be coming to the motherland. So stay tuned. So what has been your biggest challenge? Uh, establishing the store in Kampala? Um, honestly, my biggest challenge is um, um, there's, there's been several, you know? Now, Share with us a few of them. Uh, you know, people not respecting time. Okay. You know, you make an appointment with somebody to meet them at noon and then, you know, um, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. It's, it's just a lot of frustrations, frustrations mm -hmm. that, that that has been that has been going on, and you know, uh, also just finding just finding the right location that was really tough for me. Yeah. Because you know, just talking to several people that are telling you with your kind of with your kind of uh, audience, this is where your store is going to be. So we started out to we started out and I started out in Cabo Algal because that's where my grandmother was. I, I always want to make sure I'm close. I'm close to her. Yeah. But it wasn't really working out well. You know, I was, you know, with my girl. Shout out to Nahia, Sharon. I don't know if you know Nahia. I know. Yeah, so, so, so shout out to Nahia. I was sharing space with her, and I had to move out and go to Kampala Boulevard. And then... That's Kampala Road. It, it's, still, it's still on Kampala Road. Mm -hmm. And, uh, 
you know, uh, they were Palelia folks and, and I with angels, but it, it just didn't work, you know? <laughs> you know, they're charging us and they're charging us in, 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 in dollars and yeah. it's, it was just too much. So those are some of the challenges, you know. I mean, I don't want to throw a shade on, on nobody, but it was just, you know, the way I was treated, I was just not, I was just not okay with it. And Cham Towers, we're doing fine. Okay, uh, looking at that competition, do you have any competitor around town in honestly, Kampala? Honestly, I don't think so. Why? Because, uh, I mean, yes, we're all making the same clothes, but my clothes are different. Mm -hmm. They're made in the United States. Uh, the probably only challenge is people don't know which is where to get it, but honestly, I don't think I have any competition. Okay. The only competition I have is me. <laughs> Not to be conceited. <laughs> <laughs> Alag, na wagambie, nga dutra andikeno ya luzungu, ila tujia kugenda mpola, mpola, mpola. Uh, tujia kugenda mpola, 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 mpola. In all honesty, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just, in, in all seriousness, there's always competition in everything that you do. Yep. You know, you just, got, you just have to be good at it. So, there's always competition. You just mm -hmm. need to make sure you outshine your competition. But I just don't know who my competition is. Okay. Because I haven't found anybody that makes the kind of stuff that I make. Uh, Not to brag. Talking about uh, celebrities, uh, the famous people, celebrities around town. Correct. That's Kampala. The musicians, artists, uh, these uh, athletes, have they come to your store and supported you? Ah, uh, Bagonza, shout out to Alex Bagonza. He's always in there, hey, rocking bus. the Joe Malika brand. Mm. You know, he's always supportive. That is very good. Uh, Ibra K. Mukasa, shout out to you, Extra Digest. What up, though? Respect. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Nina Rose. Salute. You know, yeah. She comes in there. She 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 bags a couple of stuff. Now here they're always in there. So yeah, yeah. And uh, you know Douglas, that's my man's. Is you know he Douglas Ranga. Yeah. NBS. Yeah. Salute. Mm. He, he be he be he, he was rocking the jaw like a brand, but he's falling off the mojo a little bit. But mm. and Crystal Panda. What up, though? Panda. Panda. NTV. Who Basically, else? Uh, some of the folks I have to ask my, my the folks that work in there. Okay. Yeah. Malaika katumuleke. Tetuagala ku oluzungu tuluterekera nyo visa. Tetuagala nyo dujira ajira. Katituba tujadu terekera ba konsula abatu wa visa. Na henga misajja wakabinyo. Uh, why would people out there think that uh, you're complicated to work with? To associate with ah uh, that's the first time i'm hearing that to be honest with you i've never had anybody that say joe malika was complicated really yeah have you ever had anybody say joe malika is complicated absolutely who many people i can't, <laughs> men, can't, can't mention their names you can't mention their name i think that's a lie you know i never had anybody mm. that say but just in just in anything you know nobody's perfect jesus christ himself you know the greatest man on earth he was not perfect so people would always think that somebody's complicated so to you know that's just, that's just life. That's just how life is. Okay. Yeah, there's got to be people that, that, that roll with you. There's got to be people that don't roll. Simple. Just like this interview, there'll still be people that, that point <laughs> fingers. And it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> so you can point fingers all you want. Uh, uh, you know? uh, uh. Yeah. Lastly, but not least, yes, sir. Uh, how has the media treated you back home in Kampala? Your relationship with the media, how has it been? The that is the bloggers, TV, radios, print. The media is great. Shout out to my girl, Farida. Not because the way she wanted to do an Salute. interview, but, you know, she said it's got to be two hours and it's got to be in Luganda. I said, what are we going to be talking about in two hours? And, and in can Luganda. you please speak English? You know, like, you know, I like that we're in the United States. <laughs> we got to speak English. <laughs> I mean, and... You know, I've been, on a, I've been on After Five and 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 and, and NTV and a couple other like you know. I've just so you you will not appear on Mwasu Zemtia. What is that? Uh, Friday's show, Nakazwe. I mean, if she's if she if she's willing to do it in English, I'm in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, I'll go in there one time. But two, just two hours is a, is, a, is a stretch. She say two hours. I say two hours. God damn. People mm. in Kampala got time. Two hours, that's a little that's a little aggressive. Wow. Two hours is just too long, bro. <laughs> you don't think so? Interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, uh, so but the media has been good to you. The media has been great. You know, I did also some radio. Uh, mm. What's his name? Denzel. Mm. Uh, yeah, X X something. XFM. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there was another s selector J. They, they did yes. that. I, I don't think they still work together because I don't see him. Uh, they used to work on the radio, Radio City. Radio City, uh, Bungolobi. Uh, yeah. Mm. So the media has been great. There's yes. a gentleman, uh, I'm forgetting his name, he's called, he works with Bukede. Uh, man, I'm forgetting his name, but shout out to my man. Simon, teacher, teacher, who? Um, oh my goodness, I don't want to check my phone on, on camera, but he was, you know, he's, he interviewed me pretty recent. And also oh. Style Project with, um, that is uh, that is for NTV. Yeah, yeah. Style yeah. Project in Af Af mm. Af Rama. And yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homegirl who's light skinned. I forgot her name. Baba. <laughs> uh, Dixon. Dixon. Dixon the new wow. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Okay. So shout out to Dixon. He did put me on his uh, his segment. It was great. We had a great time. Okay. Yeah. So in case someone wants to hook up with you, uh, your social media handles. Uh, pretty much everything is at uh, Joel Maleka Instagram, mm. and uh, you gotta get onto the website joelmaleka.com. And I'm trying to, I want to invite people mm. like you. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ugandans. There's been a couple of Ugandans who traveled from Uganda to here to attend the fashion show. One of my girls, Proce Namulindwa, so she came to the fashion show. So shout out to her. That's great. We're gonna have a fashion show, mm -hmm. the excessive, the annual event for Joel Maleka Excessive Fashion, the ninth edition, December 9th. Thank so you. I'm inviting you. And Thank again, you so much. everybody that's trying to reach out yeah. on on our uh, social media, everything is at Joe Malaika. Thank you so much. Baba yo yo Joe Malaika yo yo go over do ulira. Na inge rinya ye Joe Motebi Malaika. All the way from Kansanga. Kabala gala. You gotta get a rainbow. Gala. Yeah. You know they are so close to each other. They are sisters. Yeah. Kabala gala and Kansanga, they're so close to each other. So why, do you, why can't you just say Kabalagala? Uh, it's not Kansanga, because that's not where she's at. She's in Kabalagala. The other is a neighbor to the other. It don't matter. It's just Kabalagala, one. Kansanga. Jom like I'm Tebi. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I appreciate you having me. I know Thank you not, so much. I know you're not feeling so well, but I appreciate you having me. <laughs> Respect that. <laughs> you, man. Next time, uh, you need to give me a lot of time to practice your accent one and how we shall flow together we're flowing really yeah but the next interview should be in luganda how how, how, how do you see it? i got you luganda psych will you try it <laughs> got you. and last remarks to, uh, to someone out there in luganda just simple luganda joma like simple any last remarks mm. folks? in luganda Subscribe. I want, you guys should subscribe onto my YouTube channel. I draw Malika. Muebale. Muebale. Thank you so much. I love that. Yeah. Muebale. That is thank you. Ibrake Mukasa uh, Gemanya Gange uh, is my friend. Tubade to Ogera, uh, even when Ngandi Kampala. Idabwe Naze wa no America. Namulabi ene tunyumi ya muko. Ne Mugamba. If you don't mind, to call some small interview, uh, Mvubu Kamuto, Ali so humble, down to earth, Atenga Ali so objective and positive minded. So, kwe kumule itawa no kumkutu tunyumie muko. To the viewer out there, we love you so much. Nsigadenze Ibla Ke Mukasa. Thank you so much, Joe. Appreciate it, baby. See you next time. Of course.